Hello, welcome back to Charlie's Garage. Today we are going to talk about two critical measurements that must be correct when you are putting together or reassembling a diesel engine. And that is liner protrusion and counterboard depth. So if you are working with a sleeved engine, one of the things we wanna measure is the ledge that the sleeve sits on inside the block. And we wanna make sure that that ledge is straight so that the liner doesn't slope when it's sitting down on it. We want that liner perfectly true. So what could happen if we install the liner on a crooked or worn counterboard ledge? Well, what could happen is if the sleeve is just a you know a little bit off, the piston is still gonna to try to travel straight up and down inside that sleeve. That is going to cause us some big issues with ring wear, piston wear, cylinder wall wear, and it's gonna cause engine failure sooner rather than later, all right? The other critical measurement that we're gonna talk about is liner protrusion. And that is measuring the sleeve, once it's installed in the block, how far up it sits or how low it sits. And the reason why that measurement is critical is because if that measurement is not within the specified tolerance, you're not going to get a proper head gasket seal when you torque the head on. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick how we uh, measure those and some tips and tricks, okay? So let's uh, look at the tools that we're gonna use. So here we have two different tools. We have right here, this is called a liner height gauge. Um, another nickname for it is a sled gauge. This is gonna be used to measure liner protrusion. And then over here we have a depth micrometer set, which is gonna be used to measure the counterboard depth. Um, so let's take a look at what we're talking about when we're talking about counterboard depth. So right here we have a Cummins ISC. We have one of the sleeves pulled. So you can see this one's got the sleeve in it. This one's the sleeve is pulled. All right, so this is a wet liner. It's got the coolant cavity around here that's gonna surround that sleeve with coolant to help cool the cylinder. And you have the ledge down here that the sleeve is gonna sit on. So what we're gonna be measuring is the distance from that ledge up to this uh, block deck. And we're gonna measure that in four places and that's gonna tell us if that ledge is worn out or uneven. So when we're doing this, we, the reason why we're looking at it is if you look at that ledge and then you come over here and you look at the sleeve, right here above this O-ring, this part right here is what sits on that ledge. So you can see why if the ledge wasn't straight, the sleeve would be crooked. So the first thing you wanna do before you take this measurement is you wanna make sure that that ledge is thoroughly cleaned off. You can see, uh, looking in, down in this one, that there's some debris and stuff on this ledge. So I would never wanna measure this ledge with that stuff on there because we're talking thousands of inches of tolerance and just a little bit of contamination on there can make that measurement be off. So it needs to be very, very clean before you measure. Second thing you want to do is you want to get into your service manual and find out what your specification is for what this distance should be. Now that's going to help you because you have a tool right here like this one that you have a selection of different sized rods that you can put in there. So this is a zero to six inch micrometer or depth micrometer, and it has availability for different measurements. So if you look, the one that's missing right here, this would be your zero to one inch rod. Then you got your uh, one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six. So by knowing what your spec is, that helps you select which rod to put in the tool. We have a, a depth uh, spec of around four and a half inches. So I would want to pick the rod that can measure between four and five inches long, which is the second to biggest one in this kit. Now, the way that this tool is installed in this one, and different depth micrometers are gonna be different, but this is pretty standard. This uh, rod goes into the end of the micrometer like this. I'm trying to do this one-handed. And then you push it down in there, and then you uh, put the cap on. So I'm gonna put the cap on and then I'll get back and show you guys how to use this on the engine to do the measurement. All right, so this is the proper way that we would want to measure it. We would want the top of this sitting on the block deck and you can see how it's got spots here for you to put your fingers on there. And then what I would do is just rotate it. And since I'm holding my phone here, you can't, I can't really do use both hands, 
but I would go down until I heard it click and then lock my measurement in place and take it out and take my reading. Now, these can be extremely hard to read if you're not used to them because look at this one right here. I can see the eight, right? That means that I have not gotten down to my 4.8 inches that I see on here. So my measurement is actually 4.7 something. And if I look real close, I can see that I had just went past zero. So, and I see that the hash mark is right there between the seven and the eight. So what that tells me is that I went past uh, 4.75. I would take three thousandths right here that's showing on the barrel right there. I would take that three thousandths and add to it. So what I got here is a measurement of uh, 4.78. Um, and I would want to take this measurement in four different places and that will tell me how straight that ledge is. If that ledge is not straight, what I would do is take a special tool that will take some of the surface material here off. If I take some of the surface material off, then I can make sure it's straight. So I could take, say, 30, 40 thousandths off of it and then put a shim that sits on top of this that will get me back up to the correct height, but now it's straight. So that's a counterboard depth. Now, to measure protrusion, what you would want to do is you would want to reinstall your sleeve. So we're not going to reinstall this sleeve. I'm leaving it out for training purposes. But so we'll come over to one of the sleeves that's already installed. Now, protrusion is important because if this thing sits up too high or too low, you're not going to have the right amount of crush with your head gasket, and you're going to develop compression, combustion, maybe even oil and coolant leaks. And so what we do is we're going to use uh, some hold-down tools that are going to simulate head torque. These hold-down tools uh, get torqued down to 50 foot-pounds. All right, so you would have one on each side. I'm not going to do the whole thing but because you get the idea. You're going to torque these down to 50 foot-pounds. Once you have those torqued down, you're going to take your old sled gauge right here, and you are going to put it on the block deck. Now, I always hear these people that talk about the differences between whether I want to measure on and then off or off and then on. It doesn't really matter. The distance is going to be the same. So let's do it this way first. We got it sitting on the block deck. We got it zeroed. And then we just push it over onto the ledge. And we can see right here that we have about four thousandths of uh, protrusion. Okay, I could do it the other way, right? I could start from the ledge. zero it and then move it off and it goes the other way to about four thousandths again so either way i prefer to zero it on the ledge on the sleeve and pull it off because now you're not trying to push your dial indicator onto a raised surface uh, you want to do this again also in four places now you're going to find that different engines use different specs and different ways of determining if you're within spec uh, I believe this Cummins here gives you a range of like 10 to 48 thousandths of an inch of protrusion is acceptable, but you don't want any two points that are 180 degrees apart from each other being more than a thousandths difference. And then if you look at an engine like this International over here, you can see that the cylinder sleeves are extremely close together. So they have a spec that says that the height of this sleeve and the height of this sleeve right here at this point can't be more than a thousandths difference from each other. So it's very possible that overall, if you measure this sleeve in four places, it could be in spec. And then you measure this sleeve in four places and it could be in spec. But yet overall, you could be out of spec if you exceed that thousandths of an inch difference between these two. So those are two measurements that you really need to make sure anytime you're pulling apart and putting back together sleeved engines. You want to make sure your counterboard depth is correct. You want to make sure that your protrusion is correct because those are two critical measurements that if they are not right, they can mess up your engine very quickly. So I hope you found this uh, informative. I hope that you uh, watch the video, subscribe and like. 
Uh, appreciate those of you that view my videos. If you have any suggestions, comments, or questions, please leave them for me and I will answer them quickly. Thank you so much. Bye.